God sent his son They call him Jesus He came to love Heal and forgive Heal us and die To buy my pardon
treasure did frame a heavenly girl. You came along and put me back together. Every desire in our city fine.
I 
family it's good to see you all uh, we are uh, first of all happy new year to you I wish and pray uh, you for you uh, the best 2021 uh, this new year I know we had a very rough year last year 2020 but uh, you know 2021 just we hope and pray that everything will get better and maybe uh, hopefully we can see each other again uh, and worship together in person 
face to face. We'll be looking forward to that day. And again, Happy New Year to you. As we begin this new year, um, I was thinking, what can we, you know, what kind of sermon series we have to start with? And I titled a new series for January 2021, Begin Again. It is a title of a very famous movie, Begin Again. And the reason uh, I, why I picked this title is that, again, you know, we are beginning again, 2021, the new year. Uh, as I shared earlier, uh, we, as we all experienced last year, 2020 was tough. It was something we never experienced before. And 2021, just beginning of this new year, again, this is something we never done before, starting a new year and pandemic uh, uh, era. And just uh, we're going to, in this series, we're going to uh, see our life as a journey. And as we, uh, we look at the people, Israelites, as, uh, as they uh, depart from Egypt, we're going to look into Exodus. Uh, chapter 12 later uh, later part of chapter 12 and as we look at uh, the scene where uh, Israelites uh, depart from Egypt and we'll see how God's people how God prepared his people to start this whole new journey uh, which is ahead of them and as we look at that story we're gonna find how we have to see our new journey in 2021 as also his people. So you excited? I'm excited. Uh, so let's jump into today's passage. We're gonna look at the same passage all four Sundays and uh, we're gonna find different elements, different uh, principles uh, of uh, you know to uh, of, of how to look at our journey our life as a journey so uh let's go to chapter book of exodus chapter 12 verse 31 to 42 uh we're gonna look at I mean, we're gonna read the whole passage but today we're gonna look at the just beginning part of it and later uh next part next part next part uh so we're gonna just go through the whole passage uh so let's go uh Book of Exodus, chapter 12, verse 31 to 42. Uh, During the night, Pharaoh summoned Moses and Aaron and said, Up, leave my people, you and Israelites. Go worship the Lord as you have requested. Take your flocks and herds as you have said, and go and also bless me. The Egyptians urged the people to hurry and leave the country, for otherwise, they said, we will all die. So the people took their dough before the yeast was added and carried it on their shoulders in kneading thoughts, uh, the, uh, troughs wrapped in clothing. The Israelites did as Moses instructed and asked the Egyptians for articles of silver and gold and for clothing. The Lord had made the Egyptians favorably disposed toward the people and they gave them what they asked for. So they plundered the Egyptians. The Israelites journeyed from uh, Ramses to Sekoth. There were about 600,000 men on foot, besides women and children. Many other people went up with them, and also large droves uh, of uh, livestock, both flocks and herds. With the dough the Israelites had brought from Egypt, they baked loaves of unleavened bread. The dough was without yeast because they had been driven out of Egypt and did not have time to prepare food for themselves. Now the length of time the Israelite people lived in Egypt was 430 years. At the end of the 430 years to the very day, all the Lord's division left Egypt because the Lord kept a vigil that night to bring them out of Egypt. On this night, all the Israelites are to keep vigil to honor the Lord uh, for the generations to come. As we begin the new year, uh, you probably come up with some New Year's resolution, right? New Year's resolutions, you know, some, you know, small goals in your life that you want to achieve in the, the new year, right? I don't know what kind of resol- New Year's resolutions you had last year in 2020. I had a couple too, and we try to keep them 
But many of you probably experienced that this COVID-19 outbreak uh, just you know messed up everything. <laughs> I don't know, maybe you were not gonna anyway, you wouldn't have uh, kept them anyway, yet you kind of took this COVID-19 as an excuse. I don't know. Yet, uh, if you had a, a New Year's resolution last year, 2020, uh, this COVID-19 caused you uh, not to really keep them or achieve them well. So I did a little you know, research on uh, internet, what kind of things people actually you know, set as their New Year's resolution. Uh, resolution. So I came up with some. So maybe you have some of them in your list. Uh, let me give you some. Exercise more. You know, the top 10 most common New Year's resolution. Exercise more. Lose weight. Get organized. Learn a new skill or hobby. Live life to the fullest. Save more money or spend less money quit smoking, spend more time with family and friends, and more. But looking at the list, I was like thinking, I don't really understand. Lose weight? Why do you have to lose weight? I mean, I don't, I don't really get it. I never tried to lose really weight in my life. So losing weight as a New Year's resolution, mm, I don't really get it. Quit smoking? Mm, I don't know, I've really never been a smoker, so uh, <laughs> I'm just teasing you. Uh, if you have any of these things in your list as a New Year's resolution, you know, just try hard, you know, try to achieve them. But the thing is, uh, the reason why we come out with a New Year's resolution, not just New Year's resolution, but uh, just uh, above all, just looking at the big picture, we actually try to come up with uh, goals in our lives, purposes in our lives. So we want to achieve them. Like New Year's resolution, you want to achieve something, you want to uh, just get your life uh, driven to that certain direction. You want your life to have a certain direction to go. That's why you want to come up with New Year's resolution. Not just New Year's resolution, throughout your life, throughout my life, we do have a goals. We do have like smaller, short-term short goals. Sometimes we have long-term goals. Uh, sometimes it's an academic one, sometimes it's a career one, sometimes it's a relationship one, you know, like this year or like, I not just maybe this year, I really want to have this, I want to really get this, I want to really you know, uh, reach that, you know, uh, uh, the promotion or, or like getting married, uh, just graduation, any of those kind of things. Uh, we do have a small or big, doesn't really matter, we have a goal, so we have a direction to go. And that's what we do repeatedly in our lives. And looking back in your life in the past, you probably done the same thing, the same pattern. Set a goal, try to achieve that goal, and if, if you achieve it, you're happy. Set a new goal and try to achieve that. And if you don't get to achieve that goal, you try hard, you struggle, you know, have a little, you have a, have a hard time, frustration and all those things coming. Yeah, there's a goal, you set a goal and you try to uh, achieve that goal. You try to meet that expectation of your own. Uh, 2021 is here now. Uh, we feel a little uh, shaky, don't you? Don't you feel a little shaky? I feel shaky. Because looking back last year, living almost full year of a pandemic, I remember that the little things, the little goals, the purposes or directions that I had, it was really hard for me to keep them or achieve them because of the given situation. And in the similar condition right now, beginning of new year 2021, we feel probably similar, you know, just facing this new year, we still in this pandemic era and we feel a little fuzzy, we feel a little blurry because it is hard for us to set a goal in this era, this pandemic era. And even if we set a goal, career goal or relationship goal or I don't know, your education goal, whatever, you feel very uh, 
shaky because it's more likely you know you will not be in the same like regular ordinary situation so it'll be hard for you to achieve those goals it's hard but actually giving it a new look like different look achieving goals setting a goal achieving that goal that whatever expectation you have is more actually about finding a worth of something in your life setting a goal means like you're setting a goal of losing weight okay again I still don't get it <laughs> losing weight uh, the reason why you set this as your goal is that you found a worth of that goal achieving that goal so you want to give it a try you want to set it as a your new year's resolution uh, other things like same thing learn a new skill and hobby live life uh, live your life to the fullest all those things basically uh, in the essentially means you found a, a something of, of what area of your life a worth of trying uh, to get something right uh, that's why we feel a little shaky that's why we feel you know, not very uncertain about these things, uh, even this new year, because we feel like we're, we're gonna lose that worth that we found in that era, that area. Anyway, uh, jumping to today's text, uh, Israelites, after a long time of being um, slaves uh, in Egypt, they are finally about to uh, leave Egypt. Uh, and enjoy that freedom, this day of uh, liberation. Uh, just looking at this scene, they are uh, in this celebrating moment, but just feeling, you know, just being in their shoes, just imagining, you know, how, what kind of emotion they would they feel, you know, have in that amazing moment. You may just go e just uh, easily imagine that oh they must be really happy they must be excited yeah maybe but just looking at this whole scene I feel like they must be a little scared they must be a little feel a little shaky they must feel a little uncertain about their future because after a long time of serving as a slave in Egypt. Still, it's, it gave them the feeling of stability. Yet, taking off that land, taking off their masters, and though they have this liberty, though they have this freedom, but still, taking this journey they had never been to before must, be, you know, must give them uh, this feeling of uh, this, 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 this fear, feeling of uncertainty, right? And as they depart, uh, Pharaoh said the farewell speech <laughs> for Israelites. And this was, a, I think, something we have to kind of pay attention to uh, as we start this new year 2021. Uh, verse 31, uh, Exodus chapter 12, 12, verse 31, it says, During the night, Pharaoh summoned Moses and Aaron and said, this is what Pharaoh said to Moses and Aaron, the leaders of uh, Israelites and Egypt. And Pharaoh, he's very frustrated. And he's just, <laughs> he's just tired of this, you know, flags they, uh, they had to go through because of their fighting for freedom, you know, all that. So by, finally, this is what he said. Up, leave my people. You and the Israelites, go, and this is the most important part i like you to see. Go worship the Lord as you have requested. I mean, Pharaoh doesn't say, go and enjoy your freedom. Pharaoh doesn't say, go and find your new land. Pharaoh doesn't say, go and prosper. Pharaoh doesn't say, go and find your wonderland. Pharaoh actually said, go worship your God. Because uh, uh, Moses and Aaron kept insisting 
to Pharaoh for their uh, freedom and basically say, let us go so that we can worship our God. That was the goal of their request. And Pharaoh basically repeating what Moses and Aaron requested. Go worship your God. Maybe Pharaoh, though he is the other side of this battle, Pharaoh knew clearly what this whole thing is about. This journey Israelites is about to take, you know, this journey they may feel a little uncertain about. The journey they a little they may the Israelites may feel a little shaky about. And the journey they, they never had bef- been to before. The purpose of this journey is not to find their new land. It's not to, to find the place to settle in. The purpose of this journey is to worship. Even Pharaoh knew that clearly. Now, now looking at our lives, uh, what are the purposes? Was that like I shared earlier? What are the goals in your life? What are the purposes in your life? I know we can again we can have a very small goals in our lives, right? Losing weight, like I said, or like. Uh, save more money or live your life to fullest whatever take more I don't know a family trip they're all beautiful and awesome yet we easily may forget the essential goal of our lives which is to as Pharaoh said in today's passage worship our God worship our God Uh, what is worship then? Um, I know, I know, it's like now we do this online Sunday worship and because we can't do uh, in-person gathering worship. Uh, we feel like worship is Sunday morning, we gather together, sing some songs and listen to sermon like you're doing right now and pray together and have donuts and coffee after worship. Yeah, sure, that is worship, but it is actually the surface of worship, this expression of worship. Now, what is worship? Worship comes from the word worth. So what we do during worship is we find something worthy. That's what we do. That's what's called worship. This process of finding something worthy is worship. The Sunday morning worship is basically what we do is we gather together and we find God, our God, worthy. Though throughout the week, we see all different things in our life. Oh, that's bling bling. You know, that's something I want to have. That's something I like to value. That's something pricey. Yeah, Sunday morning, we gather together as a community of God. We, though we find all those other things worthy, this moment we find our God worthier than anything else in our lives. That's worship. So we can do worship. Uh, in our lives, just everyday life, you know. Though you, when you, I don't know, make food for your family, when you work at you at work, when you study, when you, uh, I don't know, when you clean your house, same time, simultaneously, we still can do worship. Why? While you're doing all those things, uh, as long as you find your God worthier than anything else. Then you are worshiping. Year 2021 uh, it will not be easy. Well, again, we're still in the pandemic, and we don't really know. Though we get some news around about you know uh, the vaccines and stuff, we're still not sure where, when this is gonna whole thing's gonna end. Uh, and we will, we will you know sometimes succeed and sometimes fail in our smaller goals and purposes in our lives Uh, yet we still do one thing right which is worshiping God even in your failure even in your your success you do this consistently and regularly why even in your failure you can find your God worthier than anything in your life even in your success you can find your God worthier than other things in your life 
Pharaoh is saying, go worship your God. In this journey, they are about to take, Israelites are about to take, they will have some time of you know, frustration, time of uh, in, uh, happiness, but doesn't matter. They still will find God worthy. They can worship God. Uh, I used I used to live in Japan uh, when I was younger. Uh, I lived in Japan for twelve days. <laughs> Yes, 12 days. And I went there, I was Boy Scout when I was middle school here in Korea. And we uh, went to Japan to attend this big conference, like Boy Scout conference. We had a lot of fun, I had a lot of fun too. And we had a chance, me and my fellow Boy Scout friends, we all had a, again, had a lot of fun. And we had a chance to make some Japanese you know, Japanese Boy Scout friends too. That was fun. And I didn't really do any of these, but some of my friends did really bad things. I like to share that. What they did was they uh, kind of try to exchange money bill, Korean money bill with Japanese money bill that Japanese Boy Scouts uh, students had. But they try to avoid the currency rate. So like 10,000 Korean won is 100 Japanese yen. Okay, that's the same worth. But back then, back then, Japan really didn't know much about Korea, especially those students, Boy Scouts kids, they didn't have much idea about Korea. So they obviously didn't have any idea about the currency rate, Korean won and Japanese yen. So my friends, my Korean student, Boy Scout student friends, what they said, hey, you know what? Let's exchange money bills as a souvenir. So they exchanged 1,000 Korean won for 1,000 Jap Japanese yen. And those Japanese Boy Scout kids, they were like, okay. Because like I said, they didn't really have any information. And all my Boy Scout uh, friends with me, I didn't do any of those. They were, who were with me, they were like, oh, that's a good idea. And they all did it. Now looking back, I kind of regret. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But maybe you're thinking, I don't know, maybe you're thinking this is not really a right thing to do. Yeah, sure, but maybe this is, uh, they were just being clever, right? Uh, like 10 times worthier than uh, they exchange uh, their something for 10 times 10 times more the worthier than what they have but sometimes we do opposite thing we set different goals in our lives and we try to achieve those goals yet we tr we tend to forget what is really worthy in our lives our god his presence we are too busy we are too occupied with achieving those little goals financial goals relationship goals uh, I don't know, uh, the goals for your health. You try to achieve those goals, yet we forget what is the most worthy of our lives. Our God, His presence, His grace, His guidance. So we basically do the opposite way, the, you know, 10 times less valuable. We exchange something for 10 times less valuable. Um, so let me ask you this question. Do you really find your God worthy in your life? Or you find something else worthy and you pursue them more? Pharaoh said before this journey, Hey, Israelites, go, go, go. I'm just sick of you. <laughs> go and worship your God as you requested. Facing this new journey, 2021, Maybe we have to remember this. We, we, maybe we have to listen to what Pharaoh says to us too. Go, go! Journey will not maybe super stable. This journey maybe not be super safe. But I know what you requested. You requested to worship your God. Go worship your God. 2021 may be a little rough, yet we can do this right. Worship 
our God, finding God worthy in your life and my life. Uh, I heard this story. There's a dad who had a very young boy, I think three or four years old. And it was that boy's, the son's birthday. So this dad prepared amazing birthday gift, which is bike. So he purchased this bike and wrapped it in a box, very huge box, right? And then on the birthday, that boy's birthday, or like celebrating, you know, blowing the candles, okay. And then this dad said, hey, son, I have a gift for you, birthday gift for you. I think you're ready for this. And this boy goes, hey, yeah, daddy, what is it? And then the daddy goes, look at this. And there's a huge box. I'm like, hey, go, open it. And this boy, yeah, daddy, thank you. And then ran toward that box and open it up. Open up the box. And he was like, the boy was like, thank you, daddy. This is an awesome present. Thank you so much. And dad was like happy to see that. And the boy started playing with the box, leaving the bike just out there and playing with the box. Because the boy never played, I mean, the, with a bike before. It was the first time he's seen in a bike. You know, playing with the box is fun, fun, fun thing, right? You can play with the box. But yeah, this dad had a different expectation. The box is full of fun, yet dad had an expectation for his son to have more fun, different level of fun with the bike. I think we do similar things in our lives. God is generous God. Our God is a good God. Our God is God of God. Our God is provider. He's God of provision. He gives us good things. We love, enjoy those little things in our lives. Yet He gave us the best thing, way, way better than other thing, other good things God gave us, which is His one and only Son. Jesus Christ and he wants us to find him worthy and though we try to pursue different things in our lives try to enjoy those little things in our lives he's okay with that obviously he's basically saying you know what that's awesome still I want you to find me worthy in your life I want you to find my son worthy in your life i want you to find that amazing sacrifice my son made on that cross worthy in your life year 2021 is here there are a lot of things we have to do probably yet let's not forget let's worship him let's find our god worthy in our lives let's pray Father God, you're awesome, God, and we are just, we're about to uh, start a new journey, uh, to year 2021, and this is the beginning of the journey of new year we never experienced before, and we lowered our expectation a little bit this year because of this pandemic, and we feel a little uncertain about our future this new year, and we feel very shaky about our, a lot of things in our lives. Yet, help us to remember that uh, the, the essential goal of our lives, the call for us from you is to worship you, find you worthy in our lives. No matter what we do, no matter what kind of goals we have, what kind of New Year's resolutions we have, no matter what we are going to be doing in this new year, we want to worship you. We want to find you worthy in our lives. So help us to do that. Help us to remember that you found us worthy first. Uh, through that amazing grace on that cross, you found us worthy, worthy enough to give us everything. Give us everything you have. Help us to remember that grace and help us to find you worthy the same way. You're awesome, God. I thank you. In Jesus' name we pray.